Do you want to see how I created this cool artwork? Let's dive in together into this in-depth tutorial and learn some really cool techniques that will help you a lot into your photo manipulation journey. Everything started with this picture and I uh, wanted to remove all those uh, plants and uh, stuff that uh, it is in the water and when I did this artwork like months ago I used you know clone stamp tool and uh, all the other um, removing tools that uh, Photoshop had uh, at that moment like healing brush and uh, the patch tool and that took me a while and now when I'm recording this tutorial Photoshop has made a update and it introduced the remove tool and uh, it's like you know hilarious it's insane you just select that part and it's gone this will help us a lot because we won't waste so much uh, valuable time to remove unwanted parts uh, this is super fast and it does an incredible job I think uh, it does it uh, way better that I could have done it like in hours and after that I place it here flip it horizontally then I found this uh, cool photo with this amazing sunset and I uh, place it uh, underneath my uh, photo then I added a mask to make the transition uh, much uh, smoother and for the sky I added a uh, brightness and contrast to decrease the brightness and increase the contrast then I found this amazing photo with this uh, castle and I tried to place it um, on the horizon line of the sky uh, photo because we need to respect the same horizon lines. I wanted to have an island here on this uh, left side and I found this uh, perfect photo for what I wanted and to select just the palm trees and the island I have used a really easy technique. You need to duplicate the layers so you must have the layer two times and just hide the one underneath and on the one on the top double click on it and then here on the uh, blend if select the blues because the sky is blue and we are going to drag this slider to the left and you'll see that most of the sky will be gone and we need to continue until every part of the sky is uh, gone and if you want to smooth it a bit you can hold alt and drag this slider a bit to the right but not too much you see here we still have a portion of from the sky so just play with it depending on your image and then just hit ok of course it is not perfect and because we saved the other layer underneath let's bring it back and to this layer that it's underneath we are going to add a mask and we are going to invert the mask so press ctrl and i or invert now on this mask take the brush tool and with uh, a hard drum brush or any other brush that you want and with the white color you can paint on the parts that uh, photoshop removed and you can bring the those parts back and at the end you will end up with a really cool selection so i place that uh, selection uh, of the palm trees and the island here on the left and in the boat i will add uh, this character from uh, this uh, photo and because uh, i wanted the hand to be in another position like uh, that because i want uh, her to hold a lantern or a lamp I selected the hand separately and I added a puppet warp to it and I uh, moved it uh, the way I wanted. So I place uh, the woman in uh, the boat and now we need to match everything together so it doesn't look uh, like the way it looks now. All the steps for each part of uh, this uh, photo manipulation will be the same. We need to darken up first everything then add the lights and shadows and of course color matching first thing i added a levels adjustment layer for the water and i drag the white slider to the left and because we have the lights from the sky on this area that means our uh, left side should be a bit brighter and this area should be uh, darker so i painted on the mask with the black color to hide that uh, levels that i just added then i added a color balance adjustment layer where i have modified a bit the science and the blues and then when i finished with adding the levels to darken up the water i duplicated a part of it and i place it uh, on top 
to uh, have this part filled and for the island i will do the same steps first thing i will add the levels to darken up the island and then a color balance again the same settings to add the science and the blues and because the reflection the shadow of the island and the palm tree it's blue and it should be darker i created another layer that i have set to multiply and then with the brush with the sovereign brush i made it uh, thinner like that i dragged the top part to the bottom i made it uh, smaller select it not black not the black color so dark really dark blue from this side and i um, made the flow really really low like one percent and i started to paint on the same reflection the same shadow that the island already has so i will uh, have this at the end more realistic then for the castle same thing i'll make the castle darker add the color balance to match the colors but with the castle it's a bit tricky because uh, it doesn't really look realistic now we need to add more uh, shadows that uh, will help us to uh, have the illusion of uh, you know reality in this photo manipulation so first thing i need to uh, darken up more the base here on the bottom area i use the same levels and another levels to make the castle even darker and we need to fix the interaction with the ocean and the water i made a copy of the castle and i have flip it vertically drag it uh, underneath and set the blending mode to multiply and here of course it should be even darker where the castle meets the water so i will add another levels to darken up that part and i will add an exposure where i will make that transition uh, smoother now for the character i will do the same things i will add uh, levels and because i really didn't like the outfit colors i will change the colors with a hue and saturation and here on the right side because uh, we'll have the lights coming uh, towards the character i will add uh, this exposure so uh, here on the right side we have uh, a bit of uh, light on our character let's go back to the water here on this part i hope you can see uh, better because uh, it's really dark uh, I didn't really like the boat reflection because uh, now we added a character so uh, the characters should have a reflection in the water so I manually painted like I showed you here on the island I manually painted uh, this part to simulate uh, the reflection of our character in the water and now because we have the sky with those really really cool colors the orange and red and yellow we need to respect that and to have those reflections those colors in the water also so for that i will create a new layer and i will fill it with black then i will set the blending mode to color dodge then on this layer i will take again the sovereign brush and i will select a color from the sky something like that and i will start to paint with that color on that uh, newly created uh, layer and the flow should be around 10 percent and uh, those reflection will uh, be in the water now but of course we uh, this is too powerful so we need to add a blend if so double click on the layer and here on the bottom area blend if should be set to gray let's hold alt and drag this uh, slider all the way to around 100 and then hit ok and i will do the same thing to this island on the left by adding with the same color dodge uh, some lights on the palm tree and uh, the ground then in my character hand i will add this uh, lamp this uh, really cool lantern and i made uh, i and i manually drew this uh, handle to look like she is holding that uh, lantern then i added a levels adjustment layer where i have decreased the whites on the lamp and then on a layer set to linear dodge I have uh, drew some highlights on this lamp so you create a new layer you fill it uh, with black and set it to linear dodge then take the brush tool make it really really small and the flow around uh, you know three four percent and select a color let's say this uh, yellowish color and start to paint on the parts where we should have some uh, lights on this uh, lantern and for the glow on this uh, lantern, I have used uh, Max Asabin's uh, method, the one with the gradient map. 
uh, I use this a lot in all my tutorials so you should check out this uh, tutorial to learn how to create this really really simple uh, uh, magic uh, look coming back to the character now because we have this lantern uh, things will change a bit on our character and we need some uh, lights that I will add with the linear dodge that I just showed you a few seconds ago and on top of it I will uh, add more lights with the color dodge this time so you create a new layer and fill it with uh, black then set it to linear dodge take the brush tool and select an orangey color from the lamp make the brush uh, bigger and start to paint on the parts where your character should have some uh, lights here a bit on the hand and a bit here on the hood part then double click on the layer and drag this uh, slider to the right by holding alt and the lights should be dispersed uh, even more and if you don't uh, like it you should paint more again at, after that and add more uh, colors into this part and because the lights are not uh, visible only on my character should be visible also on the boat I will repeat the same process on the boat also so I paint it by using the same uh, linear dodge and color dodge method those uh, lights on the boat and also don't forget that if you have a source of light here you should have a reflection in the water also on the castle i did uh, the same things uh, with the color dodge layer i have added uh, some orangey lights here on the left side and i have also painted some uh, castle lights by using the same uh, method with color dodge and linear dodge and at the end i thought that uh, the water reflection of the castle isn't enough so i created a new layer set it to multiply and made the same thing with the sovereign brush made it uh, thinner and i selected uh, a part of uh, i selected the color from the castle a dark color but not black and i started to manually paint some uh, water reflection on the sides where uh, i should have more uh, shadows on the water then i added uh, some uh, birds here on the sky and then my favorite the camera row filter so create a screenshot by pressing ctrl shift and i right click on the layer and convert it to a smart object and go to filter and here choose camera row filter those are the settings that i have used i have modified a bit uh, the blues on uh, calibration here and also added some uh, grain and i always add some sharpening noise reduction and color noise reduction if you found this video useful please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to watch those videos next if you want to learn even more about photo manipulation and photoshop